how many of you think you want every day, you want to be more than who you are right now? How many of you think like that? Exactly, I know, it's a basic human feeling that we want more than who we are right now. We want to be more because we need to solve our daily life problem by being better. It's a very promising thing. It's called Iron Man suit. And this is actually a robotic suit which is introduced in the movie Iron Man. And that is actually giving us a promise. By using technology, we can be better. We can be much more than who we are right now. So that is something that I am working in now. So uh, that I shown before is actually way to um, fiction. But this is something that is in reality. And this kind of technology is actually called powered exoskeletons. And uh, such exoskeleton is nothing but robotic suit that we can attach to our human body. And these suits have some kind of sensors, microcontrollers, and artificial intelligence inside it, which will dictate our motion, the human body motion that user make. And it will move synchronizingly with us to do a particular task. So I will, I will give you much clarity on, uh, in, by do, giving an example. For example, if you want to lift a weight, we just need to give the motion by wearing the suit. And if you try to lift it up, the suit will take entire weight of the material that we are lifting up, and which is transferred through the legs of the exoskeleton into the ground. So we don't feel anything. We only feel uh, the senses which is attached to our human body. So such technologies actually give us strength, additional strength, and endurance, endurance, and accuracy and reliability. So these are actually some features of a machine. So what we are doing here is actually human intelligence is uh, combined with a machine and making it better to make extraordinary human beings. Isn't it cool, right? So we want such technologies in, especially in defense. Because we all know that these are the people who need to carry heavy weights. We then need to use heavy weapons and also uh, lots of big machines which produce lots of force while interacting. And then, as, a, as like defense, we can use the same thing in the industry also. So there are also material movements, heavy tools handling and everything is there. So what this technology will do, it will take the hard part of the job and will make the job very easy. And we can use this technology for rehabilitation. Rehabilitation, how we can use that? If somebody lost their leg or some part, some limb of their body part, they cannot uh, move that part. It is maybe completely lost or maybe incompletely lost. In such situation, what we can do is we can take the electric signal from their brain, which is coming through their neural network, and decode what he is trying to do with the disabled part of his body and assist him from outside. So that's really promising, because we are trying to fill the gap between disability and ability. And the other thing was elder care. Like, when we get old, our body will get weak. We cannot do a lot of things like we are in young age. So we need additional support from an external agency to do it better. So that's, that is also something that is promising with this technology. And medical therapy. So as I told, if somebody lost uh, some part of their limb and they sit in a wheelchair, the chance of getting that part, if for example, if they uh, lost their use of their legs and he's sitting in the wheelchair for a while, the chance of getting his legs fine is very less. So that's the entire concept of therapy, that we try to uh, move their body parts and get it back soon. So, this exoskeleton is actually doing that. By taking the signal from his neural network, it is moving the legs, whatever the parts which is disabled, and this is actually promising them to get back their disabled parts. So this is actually a classical picture of how technology can make a person which is in a wheelchair into stand up in real ground. So the last picture which he is which is actually happened in the world. There are machines in now available that we can use for a uh, called walking assistant that will uh, actually make us walk again from the wheelchair. But you have to think beyond that. 
think about that without the hand stick we need to stand it that's the other picture that you need to visualize after that and then after that also this external thing which is outside our leg is also need to be take taken inside so it's become internal skeleton so it is like he's become completely normal but is a you know, robotic machine which is running inside him so that's how we can fill the gap between disability and ability and uh, i will like to share some of the uh, achievements that we made in this field this is our first prototype that is called generation 1 when we start the research on this field our team was mainly from mechanical engineering department so the entire machine 90% of its control and everything is mechanical but we introduce a very good concept like a like a how we can handle a car we can control this exoskeleton so that simple concept got international accreditation we got lot of i mean motivation from the research society from all over the world to continue the work and we actually introduce more electronics into the system to reduce the ender that big structure into a smaller one to use uh, for common man so uh, after one year of again research we launched the second prototype i would like to show the video of that also by adding more members from electronics and computer science department into this project and we are able to uh, control the exoskeleton in much more fantastic way by introducing ai and so much cool features then we create the generation 2 which is powered by nomadis actually and it can lift around 150 kg of weight and move move around and fix it and so so much cool things we can do with this but these are actually we done when we are in our college so there are two options actually left for us after the completion of this it is like after a research so much of theory we create a proof of concept which is able i mean which is a um, answer for the theory and then normally what a research guy or engineers will do is like they put it like that and they go for something else to hunt it down but our entire team was wanted to see what is happening i mean what we have done is need to be useful for common man so we need to choose something more beyond than engineer and our team become a company officially and uh, to work on this in a, uh, to more work on this to make exoskeleton for normal people and this is our new series which is coming in the coming month for especially only for construction industry in india so there are lot of construction works which is going all over the india 
because of the development, they want to develop the infrastructure. So in that, there is affordable housing projects is running. So such affordable pro uh, uh, projects, what they do is actually they need, the people need to lift heavy slabs in order to place in a particular manner. They are right now using cranes, but cranes are not user friendly. That means they can only lift the weight. We cannot place it or do anything with that. But exoskeleton is an answer for that. So I think you, we can see these kind of machines in real life, which is working in all over the India. And not only like that, as I told, the medical field is also something that we need to work, but it's very complex. And we, we have a team of Indian engineers and Taiwan engineers is actually working in making affordable medical exoskeleton for common people. And I think we, we can came up with that uh, product in the next year. And I like to say that one thing, one more motivation is there for researching on this thing. It's like artificial intelligence and robotics is evolving that fast and people are missing their jobs right now. In automation industry that almost right now is full of robots. And we can see that in future, the government need to put rules to use this much amount of robots in the industry and that part is need to be give to human workers. So such situation, actually what we are doing is like we are, the, the company need to compromise the productivity uh, by the sake of the rules. So that's not fair actually. So in such situation, we need extra human beings, like extreme powerful human beings to take down the machines and work better than any machines. So that's our mission. That's our mission. So we are trying to stop a war or rise of missions with another mission. Thank you.